It's a parade inside my city, yeah! Keep moving this way, keep moving this way, keep moving this way. For the crusty crab! Are you struggling to rank up in Apex Legends? Are you looking to improve your gameplay? Have you considered hiring an Apex Legends pro player coach? See, that's your problem. Bruh. You need to be hiring an Apex Legends coach. In this video, I'm going to show you my experience hiring an Apex Legends pro player to help take my skills to the next level. Working with this seasoned expert helped me gain valuable insights, hone my strategy, and master new techniques that will give me an edge in the game. I'm going to show you the benefits of hiring a pro player coach and witness the transformation of my Apex Legends gameplay. <clears throat> Okay. Looks like we have nobody here. Go for it. Go for it. I think I hear fighting. Are right, we out? Hop on the zip line. Go, go to fight night. Go to fight night. They're like inside, inside. They're all inside. There's one that I'm looking at. There's three actually. They might hop out through the backside. Is somebody land on the back? Okay. Oh shit. Oh yeah, pushes, pushes, pushes. Oh, they're right there. What the fuck going on here, Cool. I think he's pushing me. Watch it close. Watch it. Look at this dude. Ah! That was the dude. <laughs> oh, you guys still clutch that? <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Uh, does anybody have a med? <laughs> I'm on my way. Help me. Oh, behind me. Yeah, yeah, behind you. I'm so bad at this oh, game. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. That's horrible. You know, maybe not best, but uh -huh. sorry. Okay. I basically, what I was saying is, is you do a, a really good job of, uh, of like free looking around here, like, like throughout this time. I would start free looking literally as soon as you exit the ship. As soon as we start dropping, we want to start looking left, right, up down like literally in in uh in every direction and then once you realize hey you are okay here you're not contested here i would start looking at like your neighboring areas right like is anyone landing docks is anyone landing at rift is anyone la landing at energy mm -hmm. the reason why is if you know you free look around and you see hey you know maybe there's two teams landing docks you can plan your rotation i want to go third there or maybe there's one team landed fight night and you know while these two teams are busy fighting you have your isolated 3v3 fight night but once again right you did a really good job of just free looking so we know there's a team this area i really like your comms of saying like hey like we should swing left that that's really good right communicating oh, yeah. actions that you're doing is is definitely a a big big plus um a lot of people just come damage which isn't a bad thing but like something that's really underlooked is like communicating your actions okay so now we realize hey this enemy yeah here. yo that i thought that was gonna be the easiest kill ever <laughs> boy if you don't get this guy is gonna be the easiest kill ever Bruh. someone plugged in this guy so he can get rest yeah. um, the one thing i would just be very mindful of is like how long you linger in this area there's also a whole nother team and i like more towards doc's area i think, think that about, team that uh, killed us all was the team that we were looking at when we originally landed what, what you need to think about when there's multiple teams around is just team position this is your team all right here is the team that's respawning, and here is the team that you just saw out We're of. We're getting of, sandwiched. You know. Yeah, right? We're in you a pinch. Never wanna you never want to be sandwiched. Yeah, you never really want to be here. Right? Rather than just walking up knowing that we're pinched, you could say, right, go back around, go up the zip line, and then fight from from inside. Oh, you know what I'd be thinking? Yeah. My play is always the flank. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, my team all is still up there. I'm the movement <laughs> character flank immediately wrong and it, it is like okay but wasn't that sus as soon as he had vision on me he's getting he shots off no way like no way <laughs> am i taking like no way boy ain't no way boy so what one thing i would say I, I, it's okay to get the flank the reason why you may not want to get the flank in this scenario is because of the other team being there as you do have the the right idea with like okay yeah i want to get like some sort of like off angle as valk but just be wary that if you're sort of in a pinch ideally you would just want to look to reposition first 
Um, that way, it's just a safer play. You don't risk going down, and then, you know, you can hopefully wipe out both teams. Let's pretend this Dox team doesn't exist. If you are looking to sort of get, like, like a flank angle, usually what you want to do is wait for your teammates to show first. If you're the first point of contact, enemy's going to have advantage just because they have high ground. If you just waited a little bit longer for, say, your Wraith to sort of start making noise at the front, um, and then once they're distracted with your teammate, well, and here I sort of, come. Yeah, the flanking, the flanking angle. angle so. so the flank is the second point of contact on an off angle. For, I would say for this kind of scenario, think about it as if you like have to fully commit, uh, you would probably want to be the, the second point of contact. I would say an alternative would be to fly up and maybe play this angle. Yes, you know, this tree is kind of like, like blocks your LOS a little bit, but like, yeah. I don't know, maybe you could find some kind of cheeky angle here. But this, you could be the first point of contact because if you get shot at and you have to bail, all you have to do is you take one step backwards, right? And then, you know, you fall back into cover. You're safe here. You can run back, right? You, you're safe here. Yeah. Whereas if you pull up on these stairs, you're kind of now in a position where you need to fully commit. Like I think escape. I understand. It's really just about positioning then. Mm -hmm. Positioning is key. Exactly. exactly. All right. This is the winning this is the winning game. I'm not even jump master. Oh now I'm jump master. Okay, good. Let's go solar. I'm praying to God that this team doesn't go. Uh there's only two people here though. We may be able to get a get some loot. Free kill. Okay, I'm full killing. Ah, uh, I think the fuck not. I need help. Ooh, so completely somebody else. Let me see if I can res this vantage. I mean, there's about. Where are you? Oh, you're inside. Okay, I'll I'll make this this review like a lot quicker, just because you know, quick match. Okay, so you you sort of make the plan of like, okay, I'm I'm gonna look to to revive this person, but you it's like she's in a really bad spot just because like you know there's enemies like down the first floor. We saw them, we shot at them, we even knocked someone down there. I heard the if res we revive, though. Was that also a bad like, play by them? It's hard to say. I don't Same. know if you're in a spot to like trade reses though, right? Um, by the time it takes for you. Come in, open this door, come in the corner and revive him. Probably takes like maybe like three seconds. By the time you start sticking it, his teammate is, will almost be up. The person that revived him is going to hear you rezzing and just has a quick entrance in to come and sort of stop it. Instead, what I would look to do is I would probably just look to like cancel the res in like whatever way you hear them. Um, usually whenever you're in a scenario where you can choose to fight or heal, most of the time you want to look to heal. This would be an example of, are we choosing to like sort of fight or, or like revive or should we heal? We go in, we don't know what's going to happen. We see an enemy and now we're fighting him when we have, you know, 90 health. The better alternative would just be, you know, maybe fly up to the roof, pop as many cells as possible. Um, you could tell your fuse to play slow because you're healing and you don't want him solo pushing. And then once you're fully healed up, you can say, all right, let's, you know, push him together or look for the revive together, whatever the game plan might be. So right here, boom, we would look to heal. If you open the door, you see this guy's here. I would just close door, fly up to roof and start popping some cells. Right, don't take this gel because he's probably full health. We don't know how much health he has. We should assume the worst. Assume he has at least 150, and that's his 150 versus you know, like, you know, our our 90 health. We are at a disadvantage. Don't want to take that. All right, go again. All right. All right, I didn't I didn't see any other teams land nearby. Well, actually, I don't even remember if I did. I was completely focused on something else, but let's just move uh, towards fight night. I just heard somebody. I'm moving back. I'm gonna play right here. I heard people. Like really close. Right here. Oh, sitting right there. Sitting right there. I see him. He went inside. Oh my gosh, he's scared. Wait, is it just Oh he's AFK, that's why. <laughs> Yo guys, push with me. I'm about to use my ult on this kid. Kobe! That's not gonna reach, is it? No, it's not. I think I wasted that thing. Tried to Kobe that shit. Get into the height. I'm being shot in the back by a whole different team. I'm gonna bat. Give me a sec. We're getting sandwiched. Can we move over here? We're gonna be able to sandwich this team if we just go. Uh, res right here. Res right here. Keep moving back, back right here though. Keep like get to right here. 
He's in the open. I'm in the open. Let me heal though. Please don't hurt me. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah. Keep moving this way. Keep moving this way. Keep moving this way. Yeah, we're out. Let's leave. Yeah, I see. I use my ult on these kids. I have no idea if this is hitting anybody. Hit him for 10. Nice shooting. I'm dead. I'm dead. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Go back inside. Coming up to you. Alright, we're just gonna show her. They don't know it's just two of us. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Please peek. Does 10 damage. For the crusty crab! That's him still? I knocked one. Don't push though. It's still a two. Crusty he crab. walked up behind me. Right here, right here, right here. What did I do? If I was shooting a better this if I was shooting this gun better. That'd be so cool. Just hold both angles. I'm hold your, keep holding your angle. Keep holding your angle. We low key have them pinned. Might need to, we might need to go back to our original position. Hold on, I need to get some more light. Tommy, I'm looking. Come to me. Oh, I Jesus I Christ. <laughs> Throwing nades. Right here, you have the option to heal. I would look to heal. Um, Even at 3v2? If, well, okay, well, okay, yeah. I, I guess if it's a 3v2. I, I guess I was just under the assumption it was a full team. Um, and then I would say you throw a Horizon all here. It's like, it's not horrible, um, but it's not really the best. Mm -hmm. Think about Horizon all as a big grenade. Um, and in scenarios where you can shoot an enemy or throw a grenade at an enemy, you always want to shoot at the enemy because you're just going to output more damage with your bullets, right? Like, like if you throw a frag or an arc star at an enemy, they can just run away from it and then they take zero, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you shoot them, right, it's a lot harder for them to dodge, you know, like a hundred bullets flying at them. In this scenario, we're running away. We're like, oh, come north side to the building. If we look at our Watson, she also gets stuck in a position where we could sort of like look for her, but we continuously run for ourselves and then our watching kind of dies. Mm, so you're saying I'm Which... selfish. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> we... Well, I'm saying you could be a better teammate. You know? oh, okay, Obviously, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that's where we're like wife. that. I'm jacking that. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <there's always> the... <laughs> I mean, technically it's not your fault, right? But it's it would be good if we could help um, sort of soften our teammates' mistakes if they make one. Um, okay, so another thing I was going to say is, yes, there's, um, say there's there's multiple teams around, right? In, in this scenario, I wasn't necessarily sure exactly where all the where the where both of the enemy enemy teams were. That's the exactly. Plan I didn't even was care. To, uh, <laughs> was to take the zip line, yeah, which is okay, but realistically, you really don't want to do that because it is very, very, very risky. A better play would be telling your pathfinder to set a zip line from wherever he is up towards the zip line the speed is a lot faster right so you're harder to hit and the speed is a lot faster we go here okay now right here you have covered a play this is what i mean by the teammate is really low on health you're full health you kind of have cover you can play here you could sort of look to to turn around and try and look for your watch it happens okay yeah right here okay if you really did want to push a team, one step one is break their defense. Step two is, you know, then you can start taking your fight normally by taking different angles, which you guys do a good job of, right? Um, so if you wanted to fight it, break this wall. Try your best to break this wall if you can. Um, heal up, you know, reload, and then you can start peeking. And we come over here. Uh, I would oh, say... Oh, this is the death part. Okay. <laughs> you shoot, you grab the armor swap, swap weapon, shoot, shoot, shoot. Two people drop down, you instantly turn around. That's great. You also have to reload, which is also good. You do a good job of queuing up. I would say probably maybe look to like, like heal. Like if you can, like if you have a shield battery, I would pop a shield battery while you're flying up. The, the ultimate's not bad. Um, I would probably maybe just look to like prioritize healing. I guess before we wrap it up here, do you have 
any questions about things we went over any questions? or maybe you have questions about things that we didn't get to go over that maybe you want to know more about Oh.